your tips and tricks? Uh, my trips and clicks are, <laughs> one of the biggest trip and click I can give you is, when I first started making videos, mm -hmm. I was making them like, you know, four or five, six minutes long. And people were telling me, you gotta shorten them, you gotta yeah. shorten them. And I was like stubborn, I didn't want to, because there yeah. was just so much that I want, didn't want to leave out. And then I learned the hard way, you know, and eventually I, you know, got to that, like, I tried to keep around that two minute formula. And that just seemed so much more effective and get, you know, cause the attention span of YouTube, you know, it's, they don't stick around too long. That was the biggest thing I learned. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest tip probably that I can give somebody is keep it short. I'm always telling people, don't tell me to watch something. I'll say, that's great. But I mean, that's six minutes. You could have made that two minutes and made it just as funny and actually funnier. And had, cause a lot of times people won't sit through a six minute long video, especially if it's the same thing going over and over again. Yeah. So that's my short and sweet. To the yeah, that's that's probably the biggest flipping kick I can give. Advice for other people out there who want to do what you're doing. I guess if you're gonna do what I'm doing, like in the same genre, I would say you know a decent camera, a decent wireless mic. You don't have to be like mean spirited and hurt people's feelings and mm -hmm. be nasty because that's not funny. I think going out and you know making yourself the brunt of the joke is more funny. Yeah. So when you walk away, people are laughing at you. And you know, if you can find it and do it and just keep doing it and, and not, I always told people don't give up because like, you know, you're gonna knock on a million doors and only one's gonna open. Yeah. So mine hasn't opened yet, but still, you know. <laughs> it's crack, gone. it's just the yeah. cracks open. It's cracked, now. it's been slammed in my face. So at what point did this become more of a full time thing? Probably like three years ago. Okay. Yeah. And, and what was that transition? I mean, it was because you were doing weekly videos. You were pretty consistent at that point. I guess it was consistency and um, variety because I do so many different characters. So, you know, I have different fans that like different characters. Mm -hmm. Like I have fans that will write, oh, I hate that character and it's me. Like, but it's weird, so. <laughs> you mean they, they think you as a real person, that's a character. Well, they think of all these characters that I do as different individual. I don't know if I've ever been consistent because I'll put a video up I'll, I'll tell myself I want to do like one a week. Yeah. And then like two weeks will go by. And for whatever reason, it's mostly because three kids and my wife works full time. You have to know, have comedic timing, I feel. You definitely have to know when to stop. That's what I like about editing my own stuff because the editing, something could be not that funny, mm -hmm. but then the way it's edited can make it funnier. Definitely. Yeah.